Hello everyone, in this video we are going to solve problem 8 of chapter 6. Determine the force in each member of the truss and state if the members are in tension or compression. We are going to use method of joint uh, for this problem. So we are going to solve by joint D because there are only two unknowns. And in method of joints, we can only write two equilibrium equations. So free by diagram of joint D. I have my external load, which is 600 Newton. I have a force from member ED. And I have a force from member DC. So you could assume a direction, and if you get a negative value, that means that the direction that you assumed is incorrect. But for this problem, we know that if 600 Newton is acting towards negative X, that means that we need to have a force to cancel that. And the only force that could cancel that direction would be force FDE. That's why FDE is to the right. And if FDE is, has a component in positive Y, we need a component in negative Y. That's why FDC is going downward. But if you don't want to do that kind of thought, you could assume a direction. And then if you get a negative value, that means that the direction you assume is incorrect. So we are dealing with 305 triangle, 345. So I can write summation of forces in X, summation of forces in Y, and I find my unknown. Summation of forces in X direction. I have my negative 600. My force FDE is creating a positive component in X. And if I'm interested in the horizontal component, it would be 3 over 5 FDE equals 0. I have one equation and one unknown. FDE would be 1,000 1, newton. So FDE, because it's going away from the member, so I'll my member would be in compression. So this would be in compression. Because my member is here. So the force that is acting on the joint is going away from the member. Or if we draw the reaction force, the force that the joint is acting on the member, we can see that our member is in compression. I write my second equation, summation of forces in y equals 0. I have FDE that I found the value is 1000. 4 over 5 will give me the vertical component minus FDC equals 0. That means that FDC uh, be 800 for FDC is towards the member so FDC would be in tension so my member FDC is in tension because the force is towards the member my member FDC is here so I wrote the free by diagram of my joint D and I found two unknowns. So we found the forces here and here. Now we need to find the forces in all members. So we need to draw another free by diagram. I'm gonna write the draw for, to draw a free by diagram of joint C. So free body diagram of joint C. I could not start by joint C because I had three unknowns, but now I know one of the unknowns. So I can solve for joint C. For joint C, I have the 900 Newton. That's the external load and acting. I have the 800 Newton of joint of member DC. And I have my member FCB and FC. So FDC. I found it to be 800 in tension. That means that the force should be towards the member. And that's why I have this direction. This is a member, it would be towards the member. So 
So all our forces are either in X or Y. So that makes it very simple to find the unknown. If I write summation of forces in X direction, that means that FCE would be 900 Newton. And because FCE is uh, going away from the member, that means that it's in compression. I will just write symbol C. Summation of forces in Y equals zero. Therefore, FCB would be 800 Newton. And because it's going towards the member, my member is in tension. So I found the other two on no, both magnitude and also whether they are in tension or compression. So my task is to find the other two. I can either find a reaction forces here and then solve the joint B and A, or I can draw the freeway diagram for joint E. We could not start by joint E because we had too many unknowns. But now I have the value for member EC and I have the value for member uh, ED. So I only have two unknowns. So I can draw the free body diagram for member E and then solve for the two unknown. So free body diagram of joint E. For joint E, I have the 900 or F. CE, I have the 1000 of DE, and then I don't know the other two forces, so I have F, EA, and also F, EB. So these are three, four, five triangles, or we can think of it as six, eight, ten. So six, eight, ten. And then here we have three, four, five. Three, four, and five. So I'm gonna have a typical X and Y. For this one, you could rotate your X and Y so you're you could have x, let's say x prime and y prime. And then that way your two forces are going to be in the direction of x prime and y prime. But we are going to stick with x and y. Because we can easily find the values here. So I'm going to start with summation of forces in x equals 0. I have negative 900. I have my 1000, which is negative. I'm interested in the horizontal component, so 6 over 10, and then plus. Uh, so all my forces, I have four components of forces in extraction, so I need to include all of them. So I have 6 over 10, I'm going to write it here for force FEA, and then force FEB is going to have a positive component, and the uh, X component would be 3 over 5. So I have two unknowns in one equation. I can't solve it. I need to write my second equation. Summation of forces in Y equals 0. So I start with uh, EB. I have negative FEB. The vertical component would be 4 over 5. FEA would have a positive component. The x component would be 8 over 10 minus, I write the rest here, 1,008 over 10 uh, equals 0. And I have three components because my fourth FCE is not going to have any component in x direction. I usually check how many components I need to have so I won't miss out any components. I have two equations and two unknowns so I can find my unknowns from each of the equations. I can find f. Therefore, F, E, A, 
will be 1750 newton and feb would be 750 newton well let's see whether they are in tension or in compression fea if we look at fea it's going away from the member therefore it's in compression because our member is here you need to know the location of the member so you can judge whether our member is in tension or in compression our member eb is here if this is joint e that would be the location of our member so it's going towards the member so that would be in tension so we found the other two forces of members so we found all forces and we determine whether they are in tension or compression.